Hey, what's going on you guys? Drum Machine Addicts is back again with another highly requested tutorial. And today we are going to show you all how to use the independent track length feature in your MPC studios. Now, say you have a drum loop that plays for 8 bars and it has some variation in it. But you only have a synth pad that plays for 4 bars and you don't want it to play out the four, full 8 bars. In an instance like that, you can use the independent track length feature to go to the synth pad track and just make it so it loops at four bars so you don't have to repeat the same pattern over and over again. You can also do the same thing with your drums. It's really cool. So let's begin. Now, this is what our pattern sounds like regularly. Now let's say I really like that, but I want to change the variation with my drums because they're just doing the same thing over and over again. So what I would do is go to my first track and look at the drums. All right. Now if we look at the top right of our screen, we'll see that we can see the total bars, the total length, the time correct, and the swing function, right? Now we see that we have an eight bar loop and we see that the track length is set to sequence. Now looking at it, I would say that the track length feature works in beats. So say you want to set it to two beats per measure. Now notice we have a four, uh, four, four measure for our beats, right? So I did two beats per measure. So the pattern length is only going to play two of those first beats from that four bar or for that one bar loop. Sorry if that doesn't make sense. Let me just play it so you see how it sounds. <laughs> See the difference? Instead of it playing the full eight bars or even one bar, it only played half of that first bar. So let's set it to one beat, right? Now see how it kind of gave it sort of like a techno or EDM feel to it? And if you look at the screen, you'll see that only that first beat of the measure is highlighted. The rest of it is darkened out, so it lets you know what's actually playing in the software right now. So you can up that. So now we did 16 beats, so it's playing the first four bar loop. So it'll play, it'll sound like this. You know, and that's pretty much what we had earlier. We can set the track length back to normal now and see what it does with our synth pad. Now remember, this is the synth pad. And this is what it normally sounds like. But let's say I really just want those first three bars I don't want the rest of this whole pattern all right so I can go to my track link feature edit it like so and now the first three bars are highlighted so I'm gonna solo out that track keep it solo so you'll see what it sounds like Now notice it didn't play the whole progression this time. So let's see how that sounds with the drums. See what it did there? It played three bars from the four bar loop instead of playing that whole progression. And that, my friends, is how you use the independent track length feature. Now, if you have any questions, 
Don't forget to hit us up at drummachineaddicts at gmail.com. Hit that subscribe button so we can keep giving you more content. And in the meantime, we will catch you next week. Peace.